Snake, are you okay? I've been down in heavy fire, and I can't get this door open. Which door? Uh, I'm on level 2B. Snake, you need to go back to level 2A and use the keycard to get in. Otacon, that room is filled with poison gas. You need the Perithium Crystals! Perithium Crystals? Press the select button to view your items. Select button? What are you talking about, Otacon? I'm gonna die here. You need to find the Gem of Understanding. Otacon! Press R2 to see if you have it. <sighs> Snake, did I ever tell you the story of how my father died? It's about 25 minutes long. Otacon, there are too many of them. I... I... Snake? Snake? Don't worry, I won't do that the whole time. I love the Metal Gear Solid games. They're honestly my favorite games of all time, all four of them. I'm not even going to worry about rating them because I, I adore them all. They're all fantastic. And since you will want to know, I can tell you my order. My favorite is the first one simply because of nostalgia. It was the first one I ever experienced and it had such a great impact on me. Then I like Metal Gear 4, then 2, then 3. But I love all of them. I mean, it's like rating the original Star Wars trilogy to me. They're all amazing. These games center on a character named Snake, Solid Snake. And he's like the ultimate horror hardcore guy who has experienced everything possible. And to get into the plot of these games too much will kind of overshadow what I'm trying to say. And what I'm trying to say is these are simply the best action games ever made, in my opinion, in regards to story, character, the cutscenes, the way it's directed, the music, the gameplay, the controls, everything about these games is as close to perfection as video games get. When they put the character of Snake on Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Nintendo Wii, a lot of gamers were all upset. They're like, that's PlayStation, man, don't be doing that. But a lot of people don't know that Metal Gear actually originated on the NES. And there was a sequel as well on NES. Both of those games are a lot of fun too. I love NES. See, a lot of games today are overrun with this idea that games can only be great if it features endless, you know, violence, killing, shooting, you know, no, no real story that you can be invested in. No. Metal Gear Solid is the prime example of story in video games that will wrap you up in it and you will just feel for these characters so much. I actually almost cried during some of these games. The story is so interesting. <laughs> are largely based on stealth missions and it's not really the objective to engage people in combat. The objective is to get to your place without having to do that. And so that makes the game really suspenseful too because I can't tell you how many times I was like crawling on the ground by enemies and if I heard this sound I would just poop my pants. The Metal Gear games are excellent as you can see from my opening that my buddy Victor freaking film critic helped me with. They're nostalgic for me, they mean a lot to me. The first time I beat Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation. I went back the very second day, and I beat the entire game again, 
in one day. I cannot express how excellent these games are. They're all different in various ways. Every single one has incredible storylines. They will all wrap you up in that environment and they'll show you what games can be. Games can be more than just mindless action. Stop playing Halo for a second and appreciate some of the best action games ever made.